Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Lately, someone asked on Reddit, how can we implement such a accordion menu uh, in React Native? Which techniques would we use? And I was trying to find a, a really a beautiful example of such a accordion menu. And I found this one on Dribbble, which uh, animates super nicely. You have this very smooth transition, the arrow icon uh, rotates, the background color interpolates nicely. And I was wondering, can we implement such an example in five minutes or less? Let's have a look. And so intuitively, immediately, when I see such an example, you think uh, reanimated transition API, right? Because you have a state, is the menu open or not? And then it's all about uh, interpolating the height of the menu based on the state, uh, the rotation and the background color of the icon also based on the state. But we know already that some of these properties cannot be transitioned using the transition API. For instance, uh, the rotation and the background color of the icon. And when we have such a use case, we use the use transition hook from Redash that provides us uh, with an animation value that can uh, follow along with a transition. And actually, as it turns out, um, here in order also with the overf uh, overflow uh, hidden of the menu, uh, we, and for the example to work on both Android and iOS, we also cannot use a transition API to transition on the height of the menu. So here we are just going to use a uh, transition all the way. And we have three uh, properties to transition. So the height of the menu, the background color of the icon, and the rotation of the icon. So let's have a look. I have the example here, and you see you have a state. You can open, close the menu. Um, I um, so nothing is animated so far. I just have so if we go in the in the code, I have the list component with a state. Oops. With a state is open or not? When we touch on the button, we toggle the value to so if it's true, false. If it's false, true. And then we have some properties like the height, the bottom radius um, that are depend on the state. And if we go in the icon, which is the chevron component, we uh, guess the rotation of the icon and its background color depending on the open property. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to attach an animation value to um, to this state and we're going to use use transition from Redash in order to do that. So I'm going to create a variable called transition and we're going to use use transition. So the first argument is the state we want to transition on and the first is the start value. So the second argument is the start value. The third argument is the end value. So the, the um, our start value, if open is false, is going to be one. So if I mean if open is true, our start value is going to be zero, and we go from zero. And if it's false, it's going to be one and the other way around for the end value so it's going to be one or zero then the duration we're going to pick 400 milliseconds and we can add some easing so um we need to import easing from reanimated. So that would be this one. Use transition from redash. Perfect. And now we're going to animate on this animation value instead of looking at the state. So for instance, here's the height so we're going to use b interpolate which is a short end for interpolate but when we know that the animation values goes from zero to one so transition at 
zero the eight is zero at one. So here it's not, we cannot uh, use auto anymore. So we can calculate the exact height, which would be least items dot length times the least item height. Okay. And here, if, so the bottom radius should be at zero when it's close should be eight. If not, it should be zero. And since we have animation values now, here we need to use animated view. And same here. Let's have a look. So that looks pretty good, animates nicely. Now we can do the icon. So we are going to pass the transition as parameter to the, as property to the component. And so here it's not a Boolean value, but an animated value instead. or an animated node rather, animated from reanimated. And so here we can interpolate the angle. So we're gonna use be interpolate again. If um, we are at zero, I think the icon is rotated to uh, 80 degrees, which is pi, uh, 180 degrees, which is pi, if not zero. And so in B interpolate, we get from redash. And here we're going to need to interpolate the color. So we're going to use B interpolate color. So open at zero, it's gray. At uh, one, it's red. So here I'm going to need to quickly have the RGB value for this. Okay. So that's gray. And for this color, And this one we get from Redash as well. And here we need to use animated view. Okay, let's have a look. wrong value here. All right, so here you see the color and the rotation transition very nicely. So I think that was under five minutes. We implemented a beautiful transition using the who use transition hook. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this example. If you would like to learn the fundamentals of declarative gestures and animations in React Native, please check out startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user experiences in React Native that run at 60 FPS even on low-grade Android devices. I will see you next week for a very exciting episode of 
can it be done in React Native? We're going to do something very cool. But in the meantime, happy hacking. <laughs>